Hi guys, this is Angie and welcome to my sales bin where I show you some more or less obscure games that somehow got into my library. This week I wanted to show you Death Coming. It's a game about death, basically. By some weird coincidence, your character ended up being Death's assistant. And you have to help reap as many people as you can by making some weird accidents in quotation marks. I remember that some time ago I did a short video about a game that had a pretty, pretty similar idea but quite different results. In that game you were supposed to target one person but you were supposed to create a special um, chain of events that resulted in, in this character death. For example, spilling the bucket of water so the person will slip, they will bump into a shelf. On that shelf was some kind of a bucket or something like that. It would fall into a person, that person would stumble and fall into a lava. I mean, but in that game you had to create every step of that death. And here, there are cer certain instances when you have to do that. But overall, it's pretty straightforward. You have a person walking under a window and there's a, a flower standing in that window. You just push the flower, it falls onto a person dead. All right, that's simple. But sometimes you have to think a bit more. Like you have a situation when there's, let's say, a guard guarding a button. And that button would power up something that could result in some people dying. You will have to first think of a way to either kill the guard or lure them out. Or sometimes there are situations when you can trigger some very big event that would kill multiple people at the same time. But to do that, first you have to do a certain set of steps. Like for example, here in one of the levels to trigger a werewolf transformation. I had to first make a person leave the room. When they left the room, a thief would steal an item. When the item was stolen, the person would look at the screen. And then when they look at the screen and I showed them a picture of a full moon, then they change into a werewolf and kill a bunch of people. So that requires a lot of thinking, but the reward is really great. There are also instances when the environment can change. For example, there was one level uh, with a blizzard incoming. The blizzard itself didn't kill people, but it changed the environment. Like for example, some things were unavailable because they were frozen, or maybe some things were available because now there's a bunch of snow. This game requires a lot of clicking and some traps are are not so obvious and sometimes you will just click around on anything that may appear to to might have some results in killing people. What I also really like about this game it is that it requires sometimes your creativity to see which things you can somehow connect to cause a person's death. What I don't like that much about this game is that you have a certain threshold that you need to pass to be able to finish the stage. Like for example, you need to kill 40 people in that stage. You need to kill 50 people or 60 people. And while at the start of the level, it's pretty easy because you see all of those opportunities to kill people and you start clicking away, but suddenly you realize that you missed so many opportunities to have a multi-kill and you killed like single people. It may come to a point where you have a few stragglers and their scripted path is not bringing them anywhere near any of the traps that are still available. So you may have no choice but to restart a level. It can happen but it's not a bad thing because then you probably will have some more ideas or you have already tested the level. So it may not be bad, but I, I, I'm not a fan of, of solutions like that. Some of the traps require a 
kind of timing. Like, for example, if there is a bunch of barrels rolling down the hill, or maybe a snowball or something like that. Sometimes it's very hard to determine if it's gonna hit the mark or not. I usually had a problem with that because I didn't know what was the ball's speed. And also, again, I have a problem with the fact that this is the characters here do not have a shadow and it's hard to say where exactly they are currently standing it wouldn't be that hard to add to the character model so uh, i don't know why some game creators still don't do that and again coming to the graphics it has a pretty nice pixel style graphics but I am I think I'm starting to get a bit of, to get a bit tired of it I'm not saying it's not fitting for this game and it's my personal preference so I don't want you to think that it's a bad thing in this game I think overall it's worth to spend a few bucks on it on Steam and if it's on sale then I highly recommend it because it's a bit therapeutic when when you can go mess some spa resort or a factory or somebody's vacation it's it's strangely therapeutic and it is pretty funny also i love the fact that death has um a tie i just love it all right let me know what you guys think about it if you have it or not or if you want to play it i think i recommend it it's pretty nice and right now thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye